right, welcome back to Sleecraft Sunday. In this episode, we are going to be working on this 1986 Sleecraft SST tunnel hull, and we are going to be glassing in the rest of the stringer, adding some bulkheads to support the stringer, as well as the knee braces. And then we are going to be working on these floors. We've got one side glassed on the floor. This top side is totally open and ready for resin. And we're gonna be glassing that into the boat in the next episode. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so it's raining and he's on the roof. I got the night of core. Good God. It was not supposed to rain. That's deafening. I can't pull it by myself yet. Help. What the sh All right, in the last episode, we uh, laid up the first floor of Nidacore, but then it started raining, so I have no idea if this turned out. Let's find out. Come on, Mano. I was very discouraged. I was, I was like, like, it's, it's done. It's just leave ruined. it. Let's just stop. But I'm like, it's still bendy. Let's smash it. I'm like, no, I fucked it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of resin went through. Through? Like, yeah. I guess not a lot. Just a little bit. So it like went through the honeycomb. You can see here and here. How heavy is it? Is it strong yet? Or do we need to do the other side still? You can do the other side for sure, but I can tell a big difference. Nice. Yeah. I can't believe that turned out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it again. There, well, we're gonna have better technique this time. I have ideas. So. Yeah. yeah. All right, so here's the current state of the hull. It looks like we got a really good bond on uh, this tape to the stringer and you can see that I've started to round over the edges. This is gonna help the fiberglass lay over the top of the stringer here because again, fiberglass doesn't work very well with 90 degree corners. So I need to finish routing this. I, I kind of ran out of time when the drone decided to land on the roof and then Sarah was needing some help with that. So I need to finish routing this and then I'm gonna be cleaning up a couple areas in here where I have some air pockets just so I can put another layer of glass and get even more strength. So let's do it. Sucked. Oh.
All right, so we have a bunch of the lightweight tape cut up to do the other side of the stringer. And then we're gonna be covering the whole stringer with this heavier, I think it's eight ounce cloth. Um, so there should be two layers on here, a thin one and a thicker one. And this thicker one will be more continuous. So extra wide. We finished mocking up these bulkheads. The idea is that as the forces from the outboard push inward here, we're gonna have these knee braces to stiffen that up, but the knee braces could potentially go inward due to the angle of the tunnels. So we're adding these little pieces of kusa here to stabilize the stringer, but also to beef that up. So yeah, it's going nowhere. Where's it going, Sarah? Nowhere. Nice. Then these are the ones for the very front of the floor um, really, this is just to let water pass through. That's why we have the corners cut out. And then this one, the whole bottom is open. So just to allow drainage and to prevent big things from sliding under the floor, because I don't think we're gonna add floor access to this boat. This is just gonna be a straight floor. All right, so we ran out of daylight yesterday and we are going to finish putting this heavier glass cloth on the stringer. We got to about there. So we're gonna put a second layer of this heavier glass cloth all the way up. You ready? All right, let's do it. So right now we're trying to figure out 
which way we're going to stagger our floor panels. We have a four foot and an eight foot. And if we do the four foot from the back, there's going to be a seam right here. This is where the back seat will start. So it's probably going to be right in front of the back seat. Okay. If we go eight feet from the back, the seam will be here. Yeah, and then you just have another piece. The seat's gonna be covering that. Although, whatever you were talking about, about ways to bolt the seat. You're doing it all in one panel. I don't think you are. I think you're trying to bolt two different panels. You know what I'm saying? The whole box won't be on one, it'll be on the head. She's right. You're the brain on that one. Shake your moneymaker. Not just a hat rack. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh yeah, that's looking real good. You got all that by yourself, babe? Is it too heavy for you? It's getting heavier as we add resin and layers to it. <laughs> Do you want to carry that or a piece of plywood? All oh, this for sure. Okay, so I'm not gonna like totally step in there, but yeah, once we add a couple layers to this top part. It's gonna be good. Yeah, you can feel it flex a little bit right now. Wanna try it? Go take no, your shoes off. I don't wanna be the one who falls through the center. <laughs> There's a floor in the boat. All right, high five. That's it for this week. Stay tuned. Next week, we will be glassing this in along with some seat mounts. Um, there's some issues with Nitacore holding fasteners, so we are going to be glassing in some aluminum supports for the seats, right? On the bottom, right? Yeah, on the bottom. So, thanks for watching, stay tuned.